Hey there, Gemini. Welcome to this timeless reading. So whenever you happen to come across that thing, you meant to see it. And we're going to just get right into seeing what is the general energy around you. What is happening? Let's see what we get first for that. We have territory. Okay. Anticipation. Survival. Okay. And ghosts. Okay, so ghosts, I get something from the past coming back here. There's, um, you're probably keeping yourself blocked from someone trying to maybe reach you. Someone's anticipating, um, connecting with you, I feel. And you are in survival mode right now. You're just doing what you need to do. You're sort of like you're in your own territory. You're doing your own thing. But I do feel that someone is trying to connect with you. They're anticipating something here with you. Okay, let's see. Why do we have territory here? Let's see. Just is up a little better here. Why is territory here? Transformation. Okay. A huge breakthrough is happening soon. And this could be in your environment, around you. Some kind of territory that's something tra changing. Could be your work. Could be your um, home. In your territory. In your area. You're, or else maybe you're, for some of you, I feel like you might be actually letting your guard down with someone. And they never thought that would happen. And I don't think you did either. Let me just put this up here. Let's see if we get both words here. Okay, what about this anticipation? What's that here for? Let's see, we have reconciliation. See, someone's anticipating a reconciliation with you. I, I did feel like you're sort of like getting a little lighter on this <laughs> so yeah so the renewal of a past connection is taking place and the survival why do we have a survival card here okay very soon the waiting is over decision needs to be made to be made to be made Oof. okay so someone wow that you know what it's all someone is coming in and they want and almost like they want this to survive this connection to survive Okay, the ghost we have, make the effort. Great love is worth putting in the time and effort. So someone, so the guys are saying that, okay, you, it's worth the effort to talk to this person. Just see what they have to offer. I mean, of course, if this is a real nasty person, then this is not your reading. This is someone that the, they would not tell you to do that if it's a nasty person. So, okay. Now, what's coming in for you? Whoa, look at these cards popping. Okay, that one definitely wanted to come out. Okay, so we have the eight... A pentacle. So it looks like either you're working really hard. I think you are focused on your work. Okay, let's see. I wasn't finished shuffling, so I was. We have here the Knight of Swords coming towards you really quick. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Someone wants to talk to you. Someone's coming in. They're coming in quick, is what it's saying here. Oh, and we have the dragon. Fierce and protective and fiery and passionate. <laughs> That's what you have coming in. They're coming in with some passion. Maybe it's not, and it almost feels like it's not really their way, but they're going to do it now. And they're, like, this is protection of the dragon, success, wisdom, loyalty, fear, fearlessness, strength, balance, and immense passion. That's the one I'm feeling. This feels like this might be your air sign, but they have a lot of passion for you. And then we have the emperor. Ooh. Okay. So either you're coming into this energy of the emperor being in charge, maybe at work. You could also, this could also be your energy too for someone here. I feel like, you know, at work and just coming into your power and being protective of your throne here. I don't feel that for a lot of you. I feel that somebody is coming in and they want to be in control here. They want to take charge because I almost feel like they didn't before. They are like very passive. So now they want to show you that they can do this. And we do have the Wheel of Fortune, Divine Timing, Destiny. Okay, let's clarify this Eight of Pentacles for Gemini. What's the Eight of Pentacles doing here? Ooh, Justice. Yeah, someone wants to bring fairness or else fairness is coming in at work or something you're doing is going to balance out Libra energy. What about the Knight of Swords? Ooh, something is definitely moving fast. Very fast energy. Cancer energy. Something moving fast chariot so what's coming in there's coming in real quick what about this emperor i don't think this person could wait anymore he's got very soon you got the oh yeah they want this commitment long-term commitment they want to get married okay we have the page of pentacles they're coming in with an offer 
Of course, Virgo Capricorn doesn't have to be. Okay, um, what aren't you seeing, though? What aren't you seeing here? Let's see. Ooh, someone flipped. Let's take it. Oh, the Four of Swords. Okay. This person here is <laughs> taking a time out. Other people might be watching you. Like you're resting. You're taking a breather. Wondering what's up with you. Are you okay? And really, you're just taking a breather because you've been working really hard. We have the Knight of Cups. And we have the Hangman. Okay. So Knight of Cups is um, Scorpio Cancer Pisces energy. And we also fit, someone's feeling lack here with the Five of Pentacles being left out in the cold. Let's see about this Knight of Cups here. We have we have a fairy here. So I feel like fairies are magical. There's some, something mystical, magical happening here. This person might be trying to do something special for you. I'm feeling they're going to come in for some kind of nice gift or something special. They're waiting for the right time. The hangman, Pisces energy. They're seeing things in a different perspective, though. They're looking at things in a whole different way. They did not see this before. And this is what you're not seeing. This person is understanding. They also could, this could be this person's energy taking a time out and seeing the three of swords. They, they didn't realize they did something that was not right here. They they were totally oblivious for some reason or another. <laughs> of course, that's not going to be for everyone. Um, so some people exactly know what they're doing here, and the, but the, I feel someone didn't. So this person taking a time out, resting here. Others are watching <laughs> outside. <laughs> okay, let's see. Why do we have this four of swords? Ooh, ace of pentacles. Someone's going to offer you something here. You're not going to see this coming. And maybe you're also probably taking a time out from work and in comes this opportunity. It might be a new business, a new job, but something's coming in. There is an offer coming in. Something something new is coming in towards you. What about the Knight of Cups? Why is the Knight of Cups here? Ooh, Scorpio energy. This person has totally transformed. They have This is an ending for a new beginning. You're not going to... You don't see this coming. You don't see this person coming in as this different person. You're totally, you're not going to recognize them. They're, they totally changed. They went through a rebirth. They went through a major transformation. And because they seen things differently, and I think the whole thing is they realize something that they didn't see before. That's something how special you were. They probably took you for granted. What about the hangman? Why is that here? Whoa, look at that. Well, you're okay. What you don't see coming here is there's a major change, it's an ending for a new beginning, and it's bringing in this Ace of Pentacles plus this Ace of Cups. This is a maybe a new job, a new business, also new love, a wheel of fortune, divine timing, destiny. This is meant to happen here. Wow, okay. Now let's see. Oh, <laughs> what do you need to know? Let's see what you need to know now. Whoa, these cards are popping. Okay, we have, this is, a, you have choices, seven of cups and nine of cups. So this is going to be bringing your wish fulfillment here. The high priestess, the nine of wands and the queen of pentacles. Okay, and we have the six of pentacles. There's going to be a balance coming in for you. There is going to be something that's going to balance out in your life. That someone actually wants to make things right with you. They want to fix things. Okay. So, we got the Queen of Pentacles. Oh, I just popped that over. Okay, we got the Page of Cups that want to show itself. Okay. We have here Dragonfly, Transformation. Um, there's a change coming in. Something's shifting. There's a gift coming in, I think. Okay. Now let's see. Why do we have this seven of cups? You have many, many options, many choices. I think it's in business, with your career, with <clears throat> love, friendships too. There's judgment. Yeah, you're going to have to make a decision here. Something's coming back in. Someone definitely wants to come back towards you. <clears throat> what about this nine of cups? Why is that here? Ooh, yeah, this is a gift. Someone's going to be bringing you something. So you, I definitely feel like you guys are getting gifts here. Someone's bringing you something. They want to balance this out. This is going to be a gift. This is going to be special. What about this high priestess? This is your intuition. Tapping into, you know things that other people don't know. You're, you're tap, you're very intuitive at this time. 
Virgo Cancer energy. Let's see here. Yeah, someone wants to work on something here. Someone wants to build something. Also, I think that you guys are building your intuition. It's like there's something that maybe you're going to school, learning something, or um, taking classes, or someone's building something. <clears throat> okay. Is there a snake on this? I never noticed that before. The way these roots are, it looks like there's a... It looks like there's a, there's a snake right in here. I don't know if that is or not, but anyway... It, uh, and to me, it's just healing is what I'm getting from that. Someone wants to heal something. Someone wants to work on something. Someone, someone wants to nurture something with you. And I think you're also being very good at nurturing. Some of you might be um, with this high priestess plus this the seven of pentacles. Some of you might be doing healing energy. Um, yeah, you might be healers. Okay, now what about this nine of wands here? Ooh, the Ace of Swords, Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Cups, Ace of... You have a lot of new beginnings here. Things are taking off for you. This looks really good. You might have been very um, selective, protective about something, but it's paying off. You're cutting out what does not belong, and you're going for what new is coming in here. And you have a very strong intuition. Look at this right here next to that High Priestess. Okay, what about this Queen of Pentacles? This is someone very nurturing, loving, caring, um, a nice home, takes care of a nice home. Um, you're doing quite well financially here with this Queen of Pentacles. Or it could be a Queen of Pentacles coming towards you. Oh, look, that Page of Cups wanted to show back up. And you have the mag Magician. You are manifesting. What a beautiful read. Okay, with the Page of Cups, someone's coming in here with a love offer, maybe apology. And then you got the Magician here. You are manifesting. There's something here that you're putting together here. I Oh, we got the... This is a spider. Okay, so someone... I'm... When I'm looking at this page of cups, someone is planning something. They're very being very strategic. They're like making their web. They want to get you in their web. <laughs> I don't feel like it's a bad way. I just feel like they want to be able to... I, I'm getting that they want to be able to get you somewhere where they can talk to you. They're afraid that if they run into you somewhere, you might run away. So they're trying to plan something where you can't run. Like you have to give them at least a couple minutes. I don't think it's not in like a vicious way. It's not in a nasty way at all. It's just that they want to be able to just so you don't turn and run is what I'm getting. Okay, so we do have the magician here. So it's definitely manifesting whatever you want to do. You're manifesting very strong at this time. And you're, you know, especially with the high priestess here, you can, you know, bring in whatever you want to bring in. So keep all your thoughts positive because whatever you think about, you're going to bring about. So keep it positive. Okay, now let's see. What about this Knight of Swords? Let's see. Let's get the word on this Knight of Swords. The Gemini. What's the scoop on this Knight of Swords? We have present or else a present. I do think you're getting presents. New start. Options. Okay, you definitely have options. So we have the Seven of Cups. Someone's coming in here real quick. And I really do think you're getting presents from this person. This person wants to shower you with gifts. And they want a new start. Because they didn't, they didn't really contribute. They held back. So now they want to make things right. Okay, now. I keep on feeling gifts, gifts, gifts. Okay, this is the Knight of Cups. Let's see what's going to scoop on this Knight of Cups. Make sure I don't skip anybody here. We have drama. Eventually. Ooh, a sh oh, look at this. So this person, when they come in, whoever this is, I don't know if this is the same person or a different person. Okay, they're they're going to shock you. Surprise, here we are. <laughs> and it's going to be a little bit of drama, or eventually drama. Okay. Don't know what that's all about. That's not going to be for everyone, so. Okay, but this is Aries Scorpio energy. Expect some kind of surprise. Probably this surprise when you see this person. They might, if this is the person in the past, they might get a little emotional. That might be the drama. They might, they might be trying to hold it back. But with the Ace of Cups here, they have so much love for you. I don't think they can. So they, you know, just be prepared for that. They might get really emotional. Okay, what about this Queen of Pentacles? Let's just scoop on this Queen of Pentacles. Reunite. Sex. With the X. <laughs> okay, guys, I'm not touching that. 
might be for you, might not be for you. You might want that, you might not want that. Okay, what about this page of cups? And we have confused very soon lover. Ooh. So very soon a confused lover's coming. <laughs> Is this the same? Oh my gosh. I think they're different people. <laughs> I think you got a lot going on here, Gemini. Okay, it's going to get pretty interesting, pretty steamy. Okay, let's go on to the signs. Let's see what signs we have here. I'm not saying you more. <laughs> see what signs we have here for Gemini. Cancer. Virgo. Pisces. Scorpio. Oh, we have all the water signs. They all came out. Cancer again. And Capricorn. Okay, so this will be placed in your chart, placement, other people's charts, past, present, and future. We have Cancer, Virgo, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer, and Capricorn. Okay, now for the letters. We're going to do 11 letters for initials, for first name, last name. And if you get the first and the last, and you know someone's middle name, if they have a middle name, you get that initial also. And also past, present, future, and also uh, your own initials. Let's see. F. Oop, F, and I just threw it over to B. So take a B, too. <laughs> F, Y, R, Z, P, P, Z, S, A, D, one more, and D. Okay. So we have F Y R Z P P Z S A D D. Okay. All righty. So, oh, someone came out right away. Tanja. I didn't even shuffle them. Okay. T A N J A. Okay. Jumped out right away. Was anxious to come out for Gemini. <laughs> Okay, so now we have here Kamal, K-A-M-A-L, um, Lamont, Nicole, Maria, Martina, Karima, Karia, K-A-R-I-M-A, don't know how to pronounce it, I'm sorry, Ria, R-I-A, Kurt, Anum, A-N-U-M, I need one more. One more. Let's get one all the way down to the bottom. What's going on here? Gemini. We have Christy. Okay, so those are the names. All right, guys. Now, remember, these are general readings. They're not personal readings. So, please just take what resonates, leave what doesn't. And, you know, some of it might resonate with you. I mean, sometimes the whole thing resonates. So just take what resonates, please. Leave what doesn't. Please leave me comments. Please let me know if it resonates. I appreciate it so much. And because it really does help my channel. Every little comment you make helps my channel get out there more. And also, um, every like, please put the thumbs up if you like this video. And um, I love you guys so much. I really appreciate all your likes, your shares, your subscribes, and your comments. And I'm hoping to see you guys all again real soon. Thank you so much.